Hi folks, it's Moz here and on the workbench I'm going to be building this 172 scale Lockheed Martin 135B Lightning 2. This is a starter set released this week from FX. Right, it's Easter. I'm going to build this over a weekend. If you've not seen the unboxing video, I'll leave a link for it here. But I'm just going to jump straight into it. We're going to build this F-35B Lightning II.
So, guys, here's the finished result. I am impressed, definitely. As a starter set, this is great. I know I used my experience, I should say, you know, by using the lacquer paints and, the, you know, the Tami LP uh, paints and the XF paints to do this kit. But ultimately, I think, you know, as a starter set, I think it's pretty well designed to build. Now, it's up to you whether you use the paints that are given to you in the starter set. Don't get me wrong, I've had a look at them. They do seem a little bit on the thick side, some of them, but if you water them down, they will brush absolutely fine. Just give them a couple of coats. But I was doing this in speed, so I, you know, use the lacquer paints. Who, they tend to dry within 10 minutes. You know, if you've used the Tamiya lacquer paints or any lacquer paint, you know, they dry very fast couple of mm, and ours the decals were a little bit tough i think that for a starter they may struggle because they there's no film there's no backing film like as you say on the top like you know um for an example this is their starter set tank and as you can see in between there's a little bit of film can you see that okay a little bit of film but with these decals especially when you're doing that one there there's the, you know it is just the circle there is no in the middle film these ones here the the that one there that kind of stuck together that was a bit of a tough one that was and the angle of doing these believe it or not because if you see the angle is pointing towards you getting them in oh that was a nightmare as well i broke one but you won't be able to tell because I've joined it back together. <laughs> but yeah, it split across there when I put it on. It's just one of those sort of things. But they did go on really well, actually, all the rest of the decals. But like I was saying, um, you know, like he's trying to get this flat when, you know, it could have been, for a starter, I would have, for, you know, for somebody with inexperience, I would have that sort of like the, the film, you know, in between sort of thing to help you keep it in position. Um, pilot, lovely little pilot in there. So he's all been painted up and uh, with the colors they recommend. And then I've just given it a wipe over with some of the Flory Wash weathering. So after I gave it a bit of a semi gloss coat over, I then weathered it. So I made it try to look a little bit dirty, you know. Um, but it's come up really, really nice. You know, for, for what you're paying for, you're getting a really good kit. You get a load of paints. You get a couple of brushes, um, cement, I just like a rant about that all day. For those in the know, um, for the um, the duct at the back, I've used, and just inside there, I sprayed the, the insides as well with this. Uh, Gunmetal, let's just drop the box. The Gunmetal, LP19. Now, <laughs> I I read this somewhere that a really good finish for a lightning somebody had written that they used um lp14 from uh tamia and i've had a go with it right and this is one here it's ijn gray this is the one i used and do you know what that is not far off so if you want to use a lacquer paint you can certainly use this one here I think the other colour that they recommended is this one, the dark sea grey. But I felt that was a nicer colour. You can see the difference there, dark sea grey. Yeah, see that? I thought that was a nicer colour. So, you know, you tell me, you know, if you're looking at that to that, if I put this up there, I don't think that's far off. So, as a little bit, if you want to go for that sort of colour, that's the one I would go for. I, you know, people are going to probably slate me for it, but I think it really does, really does uh, bring out the colour by using that LP paint there, LP14, really nice. I use XF flat white for that one, and then I also uh, use the um, XF one flat black as well for the wheels. But yeah, it's come up absolutely lovely. But then again, there you go. It's what you make of it, isn't it? Other than that, it's a cracking kit. Easy, simple, brilliant for the starter. Let me know what you think of this kit after you've built it. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, click like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Ring that bell, select all, and you will be notified when I release a new video.
Huge shout out to my channel members who are on the screen now. If you'd like to become a channel member, where you get perks for being a channel member, there's a join box down below and membership start from 199. Any questions, any comments, leave them in the box below because I do reply. If you've not clicked my last video, click here. And for a playlist of other videos that are on this channel, click here.